Alright peoples, car's packed. We've just arrived back at home. Oops. Gotta shift the car to park. Okay, let's get the dogs out. Oh, I already see a difference. The eaves over here are gone as well. I don't know if you guys can see because it's bright. All those eaves are gone. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can come out. Okay, he's asleep. Let's go inside. Come on, this way. Inside. Oh, sorry, Luca. Millie, leave the bird alone. Luca, leave the bird alone. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, there's our roof. <laughs> the eaves are gone, at least. And that was the asbestos bit. So, that's good. Can I just point out how slightly terrifying the fact that that is not actually connected down, but whatever. Okay, let's go inside. Come on, you two, this way. Oh, smells like when you first go into a new house. <laughs> also, like, messy. All the couches are weird because I was frantically looking for my camera. Sorry, guys, in your hut. That's why I thought maybe they were... It was between the couches, that's why there's stuff everywhere, because I was frantic. But anyway, let's get the kid in. Why does it sound like this window's open? I hope it hasn't been open the whole time. Where's the other one? Well, there goes sleep. Good try. Mummy's got to go and pack the car and she's got to pee. So, you play. Mum will just do things. Do you want to go out the back? Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell happened out here? Um, so this was at the front of the house. This was at the front of the house. The rest of this stuff is sort of just like, like what? Why is my jumper there? Also, I had just mowed when we left. I mean, it's not that bad, but it still needs mowing. Ah, uh, so yay for that. Oh wow, look at all the moss and like little grass in the rocks. That's cool. I like that actually. An ant killer, let's move that where the dogs can't get it. All right, let's go toilet and then unpack. Good morning, peoples. This is a life update. Where do we start? Friday last week, I about 10, 11 p.m., I started <coughs> getting UTI symptoms, just needing to go to the toilet. More little bit of pain when I went. Thought nothing of it, thought, you know what, I'll just go, um, I'll, I'll take a euro in the morning and some drink extra water and it'll be fine. By 2 a.m., I was stuck on the toilet with the urge to pee, even though I'd just peed, a, like, like desperate busting urge even though I was in the middle of peeing, that's how bad the urge was. When I was peeing, I was peeing pure blood, so that was fun. Couldn't get into a GP, and after I was GP, health director said, see a doctor ASAP right now, and I'm like, it's 4am by the time I called them. So we went to Armadale Emergency, there's actually a website you can check in Perth, and it has all the main hospitals and their wait times in the emergency department. So even though we were closer to Fiona Stanley, we went to Armadale because Fiona Stanley had a long line and Armadale had like one other person in the waiting room and only like a dozen people actually admitted. It was the quickest visit of my life, which is saying something. Um, I was in and out within an hour, which is amazing. Usually I'm not even been seen to within an hour. So it was just a UTI. I had caused trauma straining um, that was causing all the bleeding. So ouch um it's really quiet now uh, i was put on tremoprim trimethoprim tremadol trema not tremadol it's a different type of medication some sort of antibiotic and that's disgusting i thought you'd stop talking <laughs> Uh, it didn't see it worked a little bit with the painkillers and drinking extra water and you rule and stuff really i was just trying to get my straw that's weird don't do that Basically, I'm resistant to that, but so taking that was pointless because it was resistant to it and it gave me thrush. So 
I gave me thrush. I dealt with thrush. <laughs> what? We were in a rush. It gave me thrush. <laughs> and I got prescribed cephalexin, but cephalexin makes me really sick. So now we've got to go pick up my script for some other antibiotic that it is resistant to. Um, the first isn't resistant to. Isn't resistant to. Thank, thank you. Um, the first Wait, does urine correct. sample. Get something right. Yeah. The first urine sample came back inconclusive. Um, so I had to redo one and that's when they found E. coli. So yay, I had poop bacteria in my urethra. God love that. Oh, so I am in constant pain, but yeah. Also, I'm 8 DPO. I want to take a pregnancy test, but I don't need to pee, so it's an issue. I've also Someone been having... into my Facebook account 14 minutes ago. Huh. So I'm 8 DPO. The last two days I've had period cramps and I'm just desperately hoping that it's pregnancy because I don't want... A week and a half of pre-menstrual syndrome whatever it is um i will get my period if i don't there is something seriously wrong with me but my progesterone at my blood Which test probably won't. <laughs> my progesterone at my blood test uh, a while ago was high which means either i'm about to be pregnant or i'm getting my period i have ovulated it's in the luteal phase at the moment so i could technically take a test and I want to take a test. I don't think it's going to show anything, but I want to anyway. Let's go take a test. Let's go inside now. Luke also got a new job. More about that later. Mm. Why? What are you doing? It's about to die. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is Bert. Say hi to Bert. Come on, baby. Keys inside. Bert's a good boy. I'm like a 70 year old man. Oh my goodness. Uh, there's drop bears living in our roof. All right, I'm actually at work myself, but I'm a little bit early, so I thought I'd just finish off the vlog from the other day because we didn't finish it. Mainly because I wanted Luke to talk about his new job, but he just sort of refused to. <laughs> um, Luke's work, he loves it. He really enjoys it. He really likes the people, but there's no capacity for him to go full time. And he was doing okay on part time. But they've recently changed from Sunday shift to Friday shift. So he's now working Monday to Friday instead of Sunday to Thursday. And that's dropped his pay because he doesn't get the double time he was getting on Sunday. And also his Fridays are shorter than his Sundays were because they've changed some other things. So he's, we've missed out on a fair bit of money a week and it's quite impactful for us. We obviously have our car loan um, and rent and We've got a lot of things, and the wedding loan, we've got a lot of things going on at the moment. And that was all based off we could afford it when he was doing Sunday shift. So we were struggling a little bit, but we were mostly good. There's now someone coming out, so yay, I have to keep talking in front of a camera. Literally just hold my phone off and pretend to be talking on the phone. But yeah, so he started looking for another job, and he continuously said, like, because he enjoys his work, so it would have had to have been a big upgrade for it to be worth him taking it. And it had to fit in with our family. Like, it was no point if it was just going to mess up um, his time with Hayden. Like, there was one that was really high paying, but it was really long shifts, and he was going to miss out on time with Hayden. It was like some, some weeks were six-day weeks, and it just... I feel like he would have burnt out a lot quicker. He'd actually sort of decided that he wasn't going to do any more because um, he decided to wait around at where he works now. He was actually called into a lot of meetings and offered a lot of jobs. Two years of experience makes a massive difference apparently. Um, plus everyone liked my resume. Just going to dance about that. He was enjoying going to the interviews and seeing how businesses were run. He just like it was interesting to him. Apparently he always wanted to work at Amart Furniture. I don't know why, it's just one of the things he used to always apply for Amart, try and get all the storeman jobs, stuff like that. He got a job interview at a different furniture store and he was like, well, I have to take this just to have a look. And yeah, he really liked it. They really clicked. He clicked with the people. They apparently liked him a lot and he got the job. So. It's a big, big difference. We've almost doubled, he's almost doubled his yearly income, but it's just for th three months probation. And then it goes up a little bit. So I don't know what it goes to, but it increases a little bit after probation. And then um, 
Also, he's been offered to do his truck license, which he's always wanted to do. I've always wanted to do that too, so I can legally drive trucks instead of continuously illegally driving things. They've offered to pay for him to get his truck license so he'd then have the ability to do other parts of the job. Um, he'd become an all-rounder sort of thing. And it will also increase his pay if he's doing trucky work. So that is just amazing. He has all the awards. It's full-time position. It's also like just up the road. So way better for him, way better for us as a family. So it's 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. with a paid break. So it's a nine-hour shift, one hour of which is guaranteed overtime. And it means that our family will be getting up 5 a.m. every day like we can actually get into a routine we won't continue doing this stupid thing where like like last night Luke didn't finish till really late I think he got home about midnight um, and obviously I'm here at work at 6 30 in the morning um, after getting up at 5 so I couldn't sleep properly and then Hayden was being a pain so Luke and Luke couldn't take him because he was at work so it was just a real pain because Luke gets home late and then I start work early and there's really bright brake lights and it just wasn't working that well because if Hayden was having a bad night like last night I got about three to four hours sleep and that was it so don't know how I'm functioning today at work I also am still on my antibiotics so I've been barely able to function in general it's gonna be fun so better get going soon so I'll wrap this up but uh, yeah so he got a new job apparently my tinnitus in my ears back been annoying me the last day or two so I don't know what's up with that we're excited he's obviously really scared to start a new job it's a frightening thing when he's been at his job for so long and he's really sad to leave but we're I think got another he starts on the 31st of May so got another week and a bit till he actually starts because he had to do his two-week leave period notice at work and then he'll start and I'll let you guys know whether he likes it or not but yeah so that's the exciting thing um, it means we're on almost the same hours because my work's 7 to 3 30 at the moment Luke's mom's gonna come pick up Hayden for us but we're hoping that eventually we can get a babysitter to come be with Hayden while he wakes up and get him ready for the day while we leave for work gets him ready for the day and then takes him to Luke's mom's aka Nana's for the day for him to be babysat and then it'd be a three-hour shift once you include driving to and from Nana's they'd get paid fairly decently we'd still save a fair bit of money and we wouldn't have to worry about forcing Nana to drive a Hayden everywhere okay I need to go to work now so goodbye if you like the video this is probably gonna be the end because I haven't really finished the video give a thumbs up hit subscribe to see more videos and to see how Luke goes in his new job and we'll see you in the next video bye peoples